I'm so freaking grateful. If you ain't got it, go get it. <laughs> channel my name is ariana J. it's february 18th i am drying my hair i really don't even need to be talking right now because we on a time crunch i just went to go get us some smoothies before we go because um that's all i'm really in the mood for and that's all she really in the mood for so she going to grab those from tropical smoothie i got a peanut paradise because that's i be wanting other flavors but they don't really fill me up but that peanut paradise that's gonna fill you up every single time <laughs> but yeah we're about to go to slate i know y'all remember me saying we was supposed to go um when barbie and ray was here and we was all in the city but we didn't end up going as y'all can see <laughs> um that vlog is not up i hope y'all enjoyed it i was literally cracking up editing that vlog like that jank was too funny to me at least but yeah we never got to go because um ray and barbie flights and getting delayed so I forgot what we did. We ended up going to like this bar across the street from our hotel. Um, I was kind of like over the night by that point because it was late. And yeah, we had caught the bar right before they closed. Just so they can get a drink because they just flew in or whatever. We're about to go to Slate. I'm excited. It was either between Slate or this steakhouse that we saw just to get a good meal. But we kind of want to like have fun, be a little bit more chill tonight. So we're about to catch the train at 8. What time is it? We're going to catch the train at 8.42. It's 7.18, so I have to dry my hair. And I have, like, three outfits laid out that I want to wear. So I'm not sure. So I really need to hear real. But just to catch y'all up a little bit, I went home last weekend to see my mom because we just had some family stuff going on, and I felt like I needed to check in on them. So, yeah, I was in NC last weekend. Barely vlogged, like, barely vlogged. But I'm not even mad at it because I really wanted to, like, in that family time. I'm gonna just insert a couple clips real quick to catch y'all up. Oh, uh, yes, ma'am, that's what they serve. Her, go look. What? <laughs> She's a. Hey, I just shot her like bam, bam. Watch out. caught up i'm not even sure what clips i had so if it was like five seconds i'm sorry i barely recorded but yeah that family time in north carolina was so needed like y'all it's been so moody and depressing here in new york like and i literally felt when we were back in north carolina because like my mood my mood just got better like i felt the warmth the sub southern hospitality like I, I felt it a little reset for now so yeah but yeah, I'm about to try to figure out what I'm about to wear. Oh, that's my alarm. I need to stop talking. Um, yeah, I need to figure out what I'm going to wear. My face is breaking out, y'all. 
breaking out. This side is getting a little bit better. Like I feel like it literally flares and then goes down and flares back up and goes back down. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's like age and hormones change. I don't know. But whatever. And I need to re-up on my skincare products. I, was, I meant to like ask, do a little poll on my Instagram, like what are some good skincare recommendations? I've been hearing about the Korean skincare, even though Ray used it when we was like in college. And I think she got me a face wash one time and it was really good, but I never like used it after then. I forgot what it was called, but it was like a it was in like a green sagey bottle. I don't know. But yeah, I need some more skincare products because I'm out almost. But I'm either wearing like this leather jacket and pants or the this belted cargo top with the cargos. I don't think I'm gonna wear that. I don't think I'm gonna consider that with the outfit. But yeah, I gotta figure it out. I got less than an hour. So let me stop talking. Ooh, and I only have four minutes. Four minutes of filming. I need to delete some stuff. Okay, I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Oh, finally. It's been sitting in my Amazon cart for I don't know how long. I finally got a wrist, a wristlet for my camera so that I don't have to carry my tripod. Because that's what be stopping me from carrying my camera all the time. Because I'd be scared I'm going to drop the tripod or it's going to get knocked out of my hand. It's just, it's just big. Like, I don't want to carry this tripod everywhere. <laughs> so, I got a wristlet. Because if I just got a wrist, I could just put it on my my wrist and have it in my hand or I can actually throw this in my purse I can't fit that whole tripod in the little purses that I be carrying y'all know I like my little bitty purses so yeah hype about that and I ordered a new fuzzy mic, mic thingy but they really slayed me I'm gonna have to show y'all later they slayed me I have to find my other one bro I don't know where it went because Amazon really tried it um I ordered a couple more things from there I ordered this new highlighter i found it on tiktok it's supposed to be good so we're gonna give it a try tonight <laughs> but it's just called diamond highlight by high Lon i don't know how, i don't know how to pronounce this but it comes in a pack like that and i'll put the link below so we can see how it come out but okay i need to stop talking bye not say just woke up i woke up like 40 minutes ago it's not even 11 o'clock yet it's like 10 50 i was tired like you would think i like had drinks or something last night i didn't do any of that i don't know if it was the walk-in because slate was like a 17 19 minute walk from the penn station but i think it's because we usually you know how you're taking the trains and there's two different platforms like platform a and platform b Ours usually comes on A, but it came on B last night, and we're like, okay, this is weird. Like, it just felt, the, the ride just felt weird. We ended up having to exit out of Penn Station on a side that we've never exited out of, so I think that just kind of threw us off, but it was pretty much a straight shot, but it was a lot of walking, and I was wearing my little kitten heels, so maybe that's why, but I just felt so tired this morning, but last night, I was fine, because even after all the walking and everything, I still, we came back, I was like, I need something, maybe some fries from McDonald's, because that'll be good for now because i can't eat a whole meal right now i'm not gonna finish it and once i got here i kiki keyed on tiktok and just lay here and then i also watched another episode of um the sex lives of college girls and then i was out i was out i woke up like huh <laughs> what what happened um i don't think did i show y'all what i ended up i think i got like a short video on my phone but y'all why we get the slate and it was a whole line out the door. Mind you, we've been looking for a spot that's like the spot since we've been here. And we have not been able to find it. And every time we kept saying, we're going to go to sleep. We're going to go to sleep. And we never went. Whole time, that's the exact vibe we was looking for. But on this particular night, we didn't want that. We wanted to chill. Like, you know, it's supposed to be like a top level. Oh, I got my headband right here. It's supposed to be a top level club bottom uh, club and then bar and then bottom level you slide down or you can take the stairs and that was really fun um uh, <laughs> i need to insert that clip 
because that was crazy. But <clears throat> yeah, and you slide down or go down the steps, and that's like the loungy bar. They got like big life size games and everything like that. Why was it a club on both ends? And we walked in. I just, I just, we weren't, we just weren't expecting that. Like it was jam packed, jam packed. Like, and I think I got a video, but you still couldn't tell from like how it was in person. I personally enjoyed myself. Like the DJ was playing good music. I felt cute. I didn't even have a drink. Like I was straight off vibes. So I was good. I was good, but we ended up staying for like an hour and then we left and y'all the line when we got outside was like double what it was before. And it wasn't even late. It was like 11 something. I was just like, dang, this is where we should have been at the whole time. But yeah, we was looking for more of a chill vibe. So that was just unexpected. But I'm glad, I'm glad to know. Cause I, but I really wish we would have went there when Barbie and them was here because that was the whole plan. We definitely would have had fun. We got home at like two and then yeah, Kiki watching TV and stuff. And then I went to sleep. But it's Sunday. I was supposed to be filming my Amazon favorites video today. But y'all, I need to clean and just like declutter and collect my thoughts for tomorrow because I had an event yesterday. So I couldn't really do all of that and then be prepared for today. And I'm washing clothes. I don't know if you can hear. I'm washing clothes too. So see how fast I can get this apartment cleaned and go from there. Because I really do want to film that video. Uh, mm, my brows look really good. My skin is looking better. The hair. Um, I took, I tried to take pictures yesterday and I don't know. I just won't feeling it and i think it's because it was on first day here and you know how it's like a little bit more flat and now it has like volume and a little bit more shape i probably would have liked it but my hair just looks too damp and it wasn't even damp it was just first day hair like it looked too put together and i like it when it looks more like this yeah i'm not mm -mm. but i did get some cute selfies so i posted those on my story but yeah all right, let me stop talking and get my life together. I hope y'all are having an amazing week. What are you doing? Why are you watching this? What are we doing? You got planned this week? What you got planned today? How are you feeling? I don't have much planned this week. I know I need to get some more groceries for like breakfast and stuff like that. So I might do that today too after I film that video. Oh, and I need some more skincare too because I'm like out of my morning moisturizer. But I don't know if I want to go get that or do I want to just try some of the stuff I've seen on um, TikTok. Like the snail mucin or something like that i don't know i'm gonna look into it but we might do that today good morning <laughs> i never checked in with y'all yesterday but i didn't even get to do what i wanted to do yesterday i spent all day organizing folding hanging up clothes and getting this room together and the apartment together because it it needed to be done it needed to be done and i was kind of annoyed that i had to do it all on like the one day that i had to relax but i, I couldn't relax if things were out of order <laughs> so i literally Ended up having to go out and buy new hangers and all that. I just got like another black set and a blue set. Like it literally goes all the way to the back. Hung every single thing up. And then like right here is a lot of like jeans. It's like two jeans on each hanger. Um, and then I think on this one is like three pants. But yeah, just everything. Everything. These aren't even all my jackets. Some of them I had to keep in the other closet because it was just too much. Um... And then I got a couple shoes stacked up there and just like, up, I'm not even going to show you up show you up there yet because I'm still working on it. But the main thing was getting all this stuff in there. These are like my everyday clothes and then like to the back, like the last couple hangers are like my work clothes. And then instead of having my bags right here, I just put them on a hanger. You know, put them on a hanger and then hang them up in the closet for now. But <sighs> that's what I spent all day doing yesterday. <laughs> It's Monday now. I'm about to start getting ready for work soon, but I'll always wake up a little bit early so I can film one or two TikToks so that I have like content throughout the week. So I think today, ooh, my hair looks really good. Wow. I need to do a trim, honestly, because I feel like my ends are getting a little scrappy. But we're going to say that for another day. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out. Oh, y'all. I never showed you what I got from Target. Hold on. So yeah, when I went to Target, I ended up doing my, um, I ended up getting like some breakfast and stuff like that from Target too, just real quick. I ended up getting, I think I told y'all that I needed more skincare products. I ended up getting the Naturum, Naturum? I don't know. Hopefully I'm saying that right. That's what it looks like. And 
It's the multi-peptide moisturizer. It nourishes, smooths, and improves the look of fine lines and texture. And then it has vitamin C and panthenol infused in it. Um, so yeah, it improves the appearance of lines and wrinkles and softens the smooth skin. Yeah. And I'm like, why oh, do I feel like I've seen this before? And then I looked inside and I have seen this before, but you know, I don't like buying into the hype of everything. So sometimes I just kind of like to wait to see what the reviews are like, but I've heard nothing but good things about them. And you know, I finally caved into the body wash and y'all, when I tell you my skin has never stayed smooth, like consistently get this one i don't know about the other ones i know you have a vitamin c one and then you have something similar to this like a multi-peptide serum for your skin but these are about to be like a staple in my skincare um they did have a vitamin c but i was like th if this is infused with vitamin c i should probably see how this works first and then go from there and i'm actually about to put some of it on right now so that y'all can see um I just washed my face and everything before I came on camera, but I want to give my face some time to dry. That's how it comes out. Really soft. Like yesterday I was laying down and my face is usually pretty soft, but like I was laying down and I like so happened to like go like this and I'm like, whoa, my skin feels hella good right now. Um, and it doesn't really have a smell either. I know one of their products, they said they couldn't get past the smell. I can't remember what it was. Um. I wish I knew. Oh, was it the overnight cream? Yeah, the plant-based overnight cream. I heard a couple. Well, I got out of my hair. I heard a couple people couldn't get past the smell, but it was moisturizing. So I'm just like, I don't know. I want to try that because like if it's moisturizing, then I'm just gonna have to get past it. But yep, that's the multi-peptide serum. I um I've like kind of condensed my skincare routine right now. I'm just trying to see what works and what doesn't because. Before I moved here, I did not have these dark marks, and now I do. And I don't know if it's because the weather changed or something I'm doing with the skincare. I don't know. But we're going to have to figure it out. Yes, ma'am. If you ain't got it, go get it. But, yeah, okay. It's 7.57. I have to film. I just put on this basic top just for filming purposes. I'm not wearing this to work. <clears throat> so, yeah. Where's my chapstick at? I need to put on some chapstick. Um, I think... I don't know if I feel like putting on a whole bunch of makeup today. Mm. But I kind of didn't want to do that. I got some lipsticks. And I already did a video on the L'Oreal lipstick. So I kind of wanted to do one on this NARS one that I found. I found this a while ago. And I never did <clears throat> a video on it. And it was my first NARS purchase. And I found it at like freaking Marshalls or something like that. But it was like six or seven dollars and look how cute that is like and i love how nars has their name it's so freaking cute uh so cute so i want to try this out today i'm not gonna wear this to work but um just to see how it looks i'm feeling like it's gonna be more of an orangey color than red i don't know how that's gonna look <laughs> but mm. Yeah, I know I have my orange juice. Let me stop chatting. I will talk to y'all later. I want to clean. I kind of want to clean my car out this week. I emptied out when I was like cleaning and stuff like that. I found like a bunch of um, quarters in my bags and stuff like that. So I put them all together and I have them set aside for some time this week. I don't know, but yeah. I need to clean my car out and vacuum and stuff like that. Because we've, we've been traveling and whatnot. It needs to be cleaned out. So. I need to do that. But, okay. I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Have a great day. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm getting a late start this morning, y'all. A late start. I have my alarm. <sighs> I have my alarm set for like a I have like a million alarms set and they all mean different things <laughs> so I have one for like 6 30 that's like okay yeah. it's about time for you to wake up but you got you got a couple more minutes go back to sleep just to give myself that satisfaction like oh I got a couple more minutes even though I really don't and then I have another alarm 
it's like 15 20 minutes later Ooh, why is that blurry is that blurry or i'm tripping oh no it was okay i was like why was like that it's like um <laughs> Um, I don't even know why I'm so giggly right now. Um, it's because it's not funny. Life ain't funny right now. <laughs> but, yeah. So then I have a couple more alarms. Like, okay, you need to get up. You need to get up. Blah, blah, blah. And I woke up. And I had all my Amazon stuff that I was going to film. But, like, talking about stuff like that, like, gets me hype. And it just puts me in a good energy. Especially, like, when I get to the tech stuff. And I just want to be excited and in a good mood when I film that video. And it's not it's not giving that this morning. It's not giving that this morning. It's been a lot going on the past couple of days. And oh yeah, yeah, I'm just I'm tired, mentally exhausted. So I'm not even going to do that. I feel like Sunday, the day that I was going to do, if I didn't get to do it today, is going to be a better headspace. Um, I'm going to wake up early. I think we're gonna go clean. Mm, I'm gonna clean my car out Saturday. We're gonna go clean my car out Saturday. And then Sunday, we're gonna wake up early, film that Amazon favorites video, and then I have to get ready. Like, I'm probably gonna wake up like early, like seven, eight, film that video, start getting ready to go to the MoMA exhibit, which I'm so excited. That's literally what's keeping me like pumped for like through this week. Cause I'm ready to see that exhibit. It's so freaking pretty. I'm gonna put a little clip right here so y'all can see what I'm talking about. It's in the city. Um, I think it's like I don't think it's in Times Square, but it's like it's not too far from there. It's so freaking cute. And then I think we're going to the Met too, but I'm not sure. My main focus is the MoMA. Like it's so freaking cute. Like ugh, I love doing stuff like that. But yeah, um, I think I'm gonna get Duncan this morning. Um, I don't have anything to film this morning for real like i have i'm all caught up for the rest of the week go me and yeah i need some dunkin if i'm gonna make it through today i need it and i'm not a big like coffee drinker you know I'll, I'll drink my chai or whatever but it's not like necessary but like you know it's just the act of like buying yourself something and you have your cute little drink like i'm sorry it never gets old so i don't know i just need a little pick me up i need to pick me up so we're gonna get some dunkin um so yeah i'm about to get ready for work and everything and then we gonna get out it was something i had to tell y'all but um, it kept slipping my mind we hit oh let me put on some lip gloss because i look crusty resume we hit 600 subscribers 600 600 subscribers what in the world yes 600 subscribers when i saw that i was like what the hell what the hell what the hell what the hell like it might seem like a small number to some people but let me tell you something a lot of work goes into youtube and for people to um subscribe to your content and you know come back and show support every single day like that's a big commitment and you know that's all up to y'all that's all up to y'all and i am so freaking thankful it's just like when i saw i kind of wanted to like tear up a little bit even though we're not at 1k yet it's it's the progress like we're almost there we're almost there and that was my february goal and i hit it before february even ended <laughs> so very proud of myself right now very proud of myself um but yeah big achievement because let me see my first youtube video i think my first youtube video back like on youtube period was i think i had around like 300 subscribers 100 to 400 then the 400 to 500 and i was like oh I might can do this. I might can do this. I want to say I couldn't have done that without y'all. If you wanted to do something, stay consistent. Stay consistent. Stay consistent. Because I'm telling you, it will pay off. And I'm just so excited. I cannot wait to see us grow. Um, and just thanks for tuning in. For real. Y'all know I'm crazy. I got my orange juice in a freaking fine glass. I was about to get on TikTok and um, do a hairstyle, but... It looks fine, and I don't want to mess it up. And I don't know if I want to do my makeup today. How much time do I have left? And I still have to cook my lunch. I'm going to make a turkey burger. 
And I'm not, I don't know if I want to do sweet potato fries because they're going to be, they have like a, I don't know if I want to do sweet potato fries because they might not be good by the time it's time to eat lunch. I don't know. But yeah, I knew it was something I was forgetting to tell y'all, but we hit 600, we hit 600 subscribers and I'm so freaking grateful. 1K by the summer. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how, but I want to hit 1K by the summer, by August, like the end of summer. So we're going to see. But yeah, I just wanted to tune y'all into that. Hey y'all, I'm on my lunch break and I'm in line to get some food, but I just went to this cute bubble tea place. I ain't know, but um, this bubble tea looks so good and strawberry flavor. I love the bubble tea straws too. Let's try it. Mmm. So good. So good. It's finally the weekend. What what even in, is this pointing to right now? Like I don't know. But oh well. Um yeah. We got some last minute plans. We're going to, I think, Dave and Busters. I'm not really a Dave and Busters girl, but that's what they want to do tonight. Uh so I'm just I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna put on. Uh I don't want to be like in sweats or nothing. That's just a little bit too chill. Um, I have that denim oversized jacket that I haven't had the chance to wear. I forgot to tell y'all. I got out. I got up and worked out this morning, and I ought to be ashamed of myself because I think <laughs> I think in one of my like earlier vlogs, I um went a long time without working out, and it was pretty bad. But it won't it won't worse than it. It's like I felt like an old lady like that's sad so yeah definitely gonna do that every morning for like um 15 20 minutes just like an at-home workout just to get pumped because i'm not gonna do a membership just yet i'm gonna wait a little bit but it felt good to get up and get active but yeah i look so crazy bro y'all i was um my coworker put me on to some cute oh that was cute hold on go back go back she put me onto this cute sunglass brand. Wait, what is seen on I Love Island does not say I Love Island hyped up and all the islanders. Oh. They're wearing these on Love Island. Oh, I don't watch um Love Island Australia. Sure. So these this sunglass brand called Quay. And I feel like I've seen them before, but I didn't really like pay attention. But they're really cute. Look at that. That is so freaking cute. Let me go to the pair that I was looking at though. Um, this black pair. That black pair, ooh, cute. And this pair, oh my God, please. And there was one more other pair. Um, I don't know if I like, I don't know. That, that frame shape, I don't know if that flatters my face. Usually when I try on glasses like that, they don't really flatter my face. Like the thin ones, they look a little bit better on me. I really want to accept like my accessories up because I feel like I'm slowly getting there with the fits but like sometimes they be missing something and I know it's like the accessories because I just kind of like count those last I just kind of like worry about those last like okay I'll find something at home or if I don't find something it's cool but that really be what I be missing so yeah just honing in on my style and everything so yeah I really want to up my accessories and yeah but all right I'm going to eat my cheesecake factory and take a shower. And I'm trying to think what I want to do in my hair. I saw this cute updo hairstyle. Or I could do like a half up, half down, and then leave like some curls out. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. All right, y'all. So I didn't have time to film getting ready, but I'm wearing my hair like this in this cute curly bun. I'll put a little inspo right here. I found it on Pinterest. And I decided to wear these jeans shoes i forgot who i got the idea from but they don't want to keep these in let's see how it looks i don't know i want to put some hoops in or yeah i feel like i should but yeah this is just a close-up of the bun i'll see you when we get there I'm like, how the fuck I get fourth place? I'm like, oh wait, we didn't even take a picture. Huh? Oh, damn. Oh, that's so. About to try to offset Cardi B. Wow. The bag is cute. Oh, no. Oh, 
this night though. That's so cute. Alright. You just pissed me off. <laughs> Influencer shade ball. Good morning. Saturday. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. Okay, still tired. Hence why I probably sound like I just got up, because I did. <clears throat> we got home at like 1.45 last night um, from Dave & Buster's. I need to take these water bottles off now. Vanity. But yeah, got home last night and I was out. Like I was watching how I sleep now because I literally be waking up with my face like submerged into the pillow. And like I feel like when I wake up, my face is like OD puffy because I was sleeping like that all night or sleeping on my side all night. Like I really try to like sleep on my back so that I'm not sleeping on my face because you know that can eventually affect your face being droopy and all the other stuff. And we just trying to avoid that. But yeah, it's um, it's still kind of early. It's eleven. <sighs> it's eleven. Um, I just took it slow this morning. I said as soon as I get up, I was going to go to the car wash and all that other stuff. But I just literally just laid in my bed <laughs> and watched YouTube. But I got to go. I found a car wash. That's really what took me so long this morning because I was trying to find a car wash. They all look kind of, huh? I want to do a deep vacuum clean. Um, and then we're going to go to Walt Whitman. And I'm just going to see what I can find. Um... I'm still not sure what I really want to wear tomorrow. It's supposed to be 50 in the city. Let me just double check. This weather, bro, I can't. It's probably done change by now. Oh no, 51. It's supposed to be, and then we're getting snow on Monday, so that makes sense. So it's probably gonna be warm. And it's still early, so hopefully nobody's out. I think I'm gonna do the same thing. Well, not the same thing. That's what I meant to tell y'all. I, like, as many times as I've tried to do, like, this certain hairstyle where, like, my hair is up and I have, like, pieces hanging out in the front, it just does not look right to me. Like, on me. Like, cute on everybody else, but it does not look right to me. The only time it's ever really looked cute is when I had my, um, perm rod set. And I did that deja vu look. People ate that up. And I ate it up too. Like, it was so freaking cute. I just don't like it. With, like, my natural curl pattern. One of my goals this year is just, like, find different hairstyles to do that really flatter my hair and my face. Like that. It's just a little trick. I learned you're just gonna let it flop and then I'm just gonna swoop it all up. I really could have left it out like that. And then I'm just gonna. This bun is probably huge. <laughs> this bun is huge. I have a big head. I really do. And it's okay. Alright. Ten times better. See, like, when that's out of my face, ten times better. This is just, this bun is just more flattering to me. So, um, yeah, we're about to go. See, I let the car wash. I pre-cleaned my car before we pulled up. So I just had to throw that bag of stuff away. And this water, because I'm not going to drink it. And, yeah, we're just going to vacuum. And then once I get home from the mall... And everything, I'm going to wipe down. I, I realized I pulled off without my, like, Lysol wipes and everything, so. Yeah. Um, do they take quarters? They do? Okay. Yeah, I think I have, yeah. I think I have $3 worth of quarters. Um. Yeah, I think I have $3 Where did I put them? Started cleaning this car. <laughs> Cleaned. That vacuum 
thing was kind of weak though. Like, it won't really get in dirty, but it did the job for now. I didn't know how long the vacuum thing was giving me. It just said three dollars, didn't put like a minute or anything. I know, like, when I used to wash my cars in North Carolina, they'll tell you how long you got and they'll give you a countdown and then it'll have like a little sound for you to add more coins. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to be in and out. I'm just looking for like a black bodysuit or something. Or if, it, if it's not a black bodysuit, like a like a nude kind of bodysuit. And I meant to tell y'all, those bodysuits I got from Zara, the black one, and then like the... I don't know if it's like a light, light, pale blue or... I don't know how to describe it. But it, girl, why are they already ripping? They're already ripping. Like, I'm confused. And I, saw, I went two sizes up because they were that tight. And, like, that one, they, they fit me just right, so I'm confused how they're ripping. But, you know what, it's fine. The black one is cool. Okay, what are you doing? Like, where are you going for real? Like, these were $30 a piece. And you're already ripping? No. Mm-mm. So, yeah, no. The black one was cool, but the other one, it's not, it don't really, like, I was watching back the footage from last night, and it don't really flatter me. Um, let me get on this highway, and... I'll see y'all at the mall. We're at Target. We're about to run in and get just a couple of things. Um, I don't know why. For some reason, every time I go to the mall, y'all, if y'all haven't noticed, my hair is up. And that's literally the worst hairstyle that you can have your hair when you're trying to close. I ended up going in here and I was like walking by about to check out. And I completely got sidetracked and switched up my whole look. This is just like a little distressed tank top I got and I got some jewelry from Forever 21 to match it but I'm going for a t-shirt looking out just y'all do this but like I don't buy the items I just like piece stuff together in my Canva app just because it's like fun and I save like a bunch of stuff on my Pinterest and I have a bunch of different like mood boards and um I feel like I take in so much so that like when I'm shopping a random outfit I put together or a random outfit I've seen will like pop up in my head and I'll get like the inspiration for it. So I got that oversized t-shirt and I'm going to wear it with the jeans. I wore the TGI Fridays because they got the distressed at the bottom and I'm trying to decide if I want to wear like black boots or those black pointy heels. I don't know if I showed y'all up close what they look like um, that I wore to Slate with I don't know what kind of purse yet probably my silver and black purse with my hair out and that's gonna be really cute i'm getting more and more comfortable wearing like my curls out taking pictures with them don't, not feeling like i have to straighten my hair all the time like so yeah i'm excited I, was, I don't know i went in there with an idea and i came out with a whole nother one i was just like mm, i don't feel like wearing anything like tight let's do something different let's switch it up but we better go to target back in the car got the groceries secured i um i told y'all i started working out in my room again so now i'm trying to like focus on my diet so i'm trying to like watch my calorie intake and also just make like if i want to snack just make smarter choices so i found these fruit strawberry and banana bites with blueberries too it's like a healthier option to but they're called these the salt baked gluten-free chocolate chip cookies that i'm gonna try too so we're gonna try those and yeah i kind of want to try them now honestly i might try one it's not that bad See y'all tomorrow when we're about to go to the MoMA and meet Grace and them. All right, y'all, I'm on a time crunch. I don't know how I wake up early and get ready and still be late. But this is the outfit. I'm wearing it with this purse. Um, it's this oversized shirt that I showed y'all. I have it tucked in like that with the jeans and the boots frayed at the bottom. And I'm going to bring a pair of sunglasses that I might wear, but I'm not sure. It's just getting a real chill museum outfit. That type of thing, but it's... Ooh, 9 30 i have to go catch a train because it comes at 9 42 and i'm late as always Ooh, yeah i'm glad i cut my hair out actually it's it's giving it's giving what it needs to on his last leg right, i'll catch y'all when i get to the city oh y'all we barely made it on time we're at the train station my freaking lash okay My lash looked like it. Looks like it wanted to come off. I'm like, oh no, let me speak to this thing so I can fix that because I don't have time. But, alright, I need to go get my tickets. See y'all in the city. I mean, we could just go across the street to the